So what's your what's your favorite game in the series? Uh, I have to go with nine, the one that uh, came out on PS3. Yes, I agree with you. I definitely agree with you on that. Why why is it your favorite? Uh, a couple different reasons. I mean, mechanics were smooth. All the gaming was smooth. The characters, it was just a good choice of characters. And then on top of that, the the overall story, like the video story, was untouchable. Like yes. I had never seen that good of a story come out of a fighting game at that yes. point. Bro, I swear, man, it's like Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 9 had came out like a few months after Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And Marvel vs. Capcom 3, like I thought it was an okay game, but I felt like there should have been more with it. Like I felt like that there should have been a story mode in the game with cutscenes and whatnot. And when Mortal Kombat 9 came out, and like I saw that it actually had like a story mode, I was just like, bro, like I think this is the first fighting game to ever have like a story mode with cutscenes in it. And that really, I, it depends on your definition of cutscenes. Tekken. I mean, I know I'm talking about yeah. like, yeah, Tekken had cutscenes, but Mortal Kombat, like, it was a full story mode. Like, I want to say it took about a good hour, an hour to beat the whole entire story the Tekken mode. Tekken was tied in from game to game. Though. Yeah, I understand that, but what I'm saying is like, when you play Tekken. You know, you get like the little intro in the beginning and then you just keep on fighting until you get to the end and then you get the cutscene. Whereas with Mortal Kombat 9, it's like well, it's you play it, through the story. It, yeah, you play through the entire story. Like there's there's a cutscene fighting, cutscene fighting, cutscene fighting. You don't get that in other fighting games. You know I don't what I'm want saying? that in a full fighting game every time like but i mean but that's but that's what sells it and like that's what makes the game cool in, in my opinion so that was one of the reasons why i loved mortal kombat 9 i also love the fact that you could do um two two versus two um tag team matches so i would, like whenever i used to have family come over to the house we would all four be playing mortal kombat 9 and then the crypt that they had in the game where you oh, can, yes. where you can un unlock all this cool stuff and then the towers that they had in the game. Like Mortal Kombat 9 is my favorite in the entire series. And like yep. everything that you said, Max, it goes stacked on to what I was saying. Like that's my favorite. What I think they're sitting at about 20 characters as we speak because they had uh, they dropped a number last week when they uh, introduced Jackie Briggs and Kotal Khan. So then you, and that was at, they were at 19. So then you have uh, Noob Cybot this week. So yeah, I think that they're sitting at about 20 currently. That's good. And you know they're going to have ones they didn't mention of that course. are just kind of there. Of course. So and then the, one, the ones incorporated in the story mode too, right. I'm pretty sure are going to get unlocked somewhere down the line too. No, I think on, Dream, on Dreamcast, you just had, uh, they released Mortal Kombat Trilogy Gold. Like, I don't think, uh, oh, and they, yeah, they introduced Mortal Kombat 4. Mortal Kombat 4 was the last one that came out on Dreamcast because the console just died after that. Yeah. Mortal Kombat killed the Dreamcast, is that what you're saying? Yeah, Mortal Kombat, <laughs> yeah, fatality. <laughs> now, let me ask you, since you brought up the sidestep thing, do you prefer the standard classic 2D fighting, or do you like the sidestep 3D that Tekken brought and made famous? When it comes to Mortal Kombat, I'm I'm old school. I like the 2D back and forth. I mean, I feel like that's where you can really get a lot of fair gameplay out of. Right. This, yeah. The 3D, that's cool, but not in Mortal Kombat. It's just not a character. It's not char characteristically pleasing. I think. Yeah. For me, um, going back to the the least favorites in the series, my least favorite would have to be Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Like. I had took a break. Yes, bro. I, I had took a break from playing the Mortal Same Kombat here. games after uh, four. Armageddon is trash. But Armageddon bro. was trash because like they were hyping it up as the last Mortal Kombat game, and they said every single character from the series was going to be in it. So I and was just it's called Armageddon. Like yeah. this, the end all be all. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to get this game, and the game was trash. The story mode was trash. They took out the fatalities. Like they had to create your fatality, but everybody had the same fatality. I mean, there was some cool stuff in the game, like you could create your own character, and um, the conquest mode was was fine. And then they even had like a Mortal Kombat, uh, uh, Mortal Kombat Mario Kart type game in, <laughs> in the game. So it's like while the actual game was trash, I felt like all of the extra stuff that was in the game was the saving grace for that for that the whole game itself. But that was the worst one for me. What yeah. about you, Travis? No, I agree. 
That's easily like to the point where I and I know you know we're coming up on Mortal Kombat 11 where I, that's a lot of games over the span of 20 years or so. So it's expected to have a dud or two, but I feel like there's been probably just as many bad Mortal Kombat games as there's been good. Yeah. Mortal Kombat games at this point. When Mortal Kombat comes out, we we don't have anything bad to say about this game. It's going to be a good game. Unlike, oh, unlike, well, I was about to say, hopefully it doesn't get the Jump Force. Jump treatment. Force, because Jump Force, oh for my god, months. man, they should have paid us to hype that game up because we was playing this game over every it, week on the and podcast. And when it came out, oh came my out. god, <sighs> game was trash, man. Good thing I sold it and got that forty dollars though. So hey. and they got a deck, Deku hoodie, and got that Deku hoodie. So did you? Did did you watch both of the Mortal Kombat movies? Annihilation. What kind of question? This guy. Did you watch the Mortal Kombat movies? Did Some you people ain't the seen 90s? them. Some did you people watch ain't the Mortal seen Kombat them. movies? Like, yeah. So did you watch the Street Fighter movie? Yeah. Did you oh, watch yeah, the, saw, did, did you watch the other theaters. Street Fighter movie? Yeah. I, you watched The Legend of Chun Li. Yeah, of course. That movie, man. Yep. Ain't nobody watched that movie, bro. Everybody watched that movie. I didn't and watch it. Everybody said it sucked. I never seen it. Just like the Tekken movie sucked. Hey, you watch your mouth about the Tekken movie, bro. There's a Tekken movie. See, it's so See? bad. He didn't know about the Tekken movie. About Mortal Kombat though. Te Mortal Kombat was like in theaters and all kinds. Tekken bro, was in theaters okay. too, won't it? Did you watch the Mortal Kombat movie? <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that. Thank in you. Theaters. Oh yeah. <laughs> Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and get notified every time we upload a new one by subscribing and ticking the bell icon. You can also listen to the full episode by searching for Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks on your favorite podcast app. If you'd like to help support more great content like this, be sure to check us out on Patreon. We'll have the link posted in the description below. Thanks for listening and see you on the next episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks.